Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a brand new video for you guys and it's going to be my match review on the Sunderland Bolton game where it has finished as a 1-0 win for Sunderland. That game was very, very stressful. I think we can all agree on that one. Definitely was not pretty. In fact, it was very, very ugly in some parts. But, you know, we, we grafted that out and we did manage to get a win at the end of the day through some very... Some, some decent defending for the most part, you know, there definitely was a couple of sloppy mistakes here and there, but ones that aren't really going to um too much damage or one than I did, but you know, we'll, we'll get into that later on. So I think I will start off with the two teams, starting with Sunderland, so we went with a 4-2-3-1 as we usually do. We had Hoffman in goal, he back for Winchester, Flanagan, Doyle and Sirkin, but 9 and Neil as the hold midfielders. McGeady, Pritchard and Embleton as the attacking midfielders and Stewart up front. For Bolton, they went, I think they went with a similar formation, maybe a 4-3-3. Had Dixon in goal, Jones, Santos, Johnson and Gordon the back four. Sheehan and Williams are two holding midfielders. Isgrove, Sarkovic and Afayol and we were all behind you and Doyle. And you know, the game started off and it was, I mean, like, to be fair, it was a pretty scrappy first half I'm being completely honest, you know. I think, well it wasn't scrappy, so it's like both teams, when they had the ball, they just, most parts kept possession well, but then, you know, as soon as I got into, into, into midfield, it's just where things just went tits up, really, for both sides. Um, before Sunderland do actually take their lead on the 16th minute. And, you know, it was excellent from Dennis Sirkin, who used all his strength against, um, I think it was, who was it, right back? Against, I think it was Jones, I think it was. He used all the strength that he could um, to get past um, Jones and managed to, to get into the box. And, unfortunately, Stewart's um, effort is saved, but then Carl Winchester is there too. Um, tap in the rebound, and I mean, I say tap in, he, like, he, he only missed it, and he was very close to just completely missing, but it, it does go in in the end, and Win Winchester gets his third goal this season, so what a season he's having so far by way of Carl Winchester, definitely, in both attacking and defensively, he has had a very good season, but, you know, we will get out of him in a minute, and then for, for us, the first half, honestly, I'd say it's probably more Bolton, for me, completely honest, you know, they definitely um, had the ball up more, they weren't necessarily doing a lot with it, if I'm being completely honest. Like, yeah, they were getting into the Sunderland half. But once they were there, it just didn't seem like they knew what they were doing. I mean, honestly, you know, Sunderland's defence was really good today. Um, also, 9 did very well defensively as well. Um, keep um, helping them out as well. You know, Sunderland, you know, we, we had a few chances. The first up for Pritchard probably could have maybe done a little bit better with his chance that you have. Where he just completely blasted over the bar. Um, but, you know, apart from that, first half wasn't really too memorable. You know, there was five minutes at a time for, because the Dick, I think it was Dixon. I don't know what I don't know what happened, by the way, in the fifth minute where Dixon apparently literally needed to change his whole kit. I, I don't know what happened. Can someone please tell me that? I don't know what happened there, if I'm being completely honest. So, yeah, they were going half time 1 0 up. You know, Bolton were knocking on the door. And um, it was definitely going to be a very nervy second half. And you know what? Sunderland should have went 2 0 up. And the 40th minute, Alex Pritchard, literally a great ball over for a I think I think um, McGeady put a nice ball in the box for. Pritchard, who really should have scored, it was a great save from Dixon, but Pritchard really should have scored, there should have been 2-0, and then after that, it was just all Bolton for the rest of the second half, they, like, it was similar in the first half, they having the ball, getting another half, and then just trying to figure out what to do with it, I mean, like, yeah, that had a couple of chances, Doyle definitely should have at least scored one, he missed some absolute sitters in that second half, definitely, was not his finest um, game of the day, and honestly, Bolton, you know, um, so then, uh, I mean, I'd, again, just had the ball, didn't do too much of it. Um, so then I made a couple of substitutions. I think we brought on all three substitutions at once, you know, Sirkin and Isgrove did get in a pretty nasty collision. I think Isgrove had a, well, not a lot, not a large cut in his head, but, you know, um, he was, it, that was pretty much in front of where we were sitting. I knew that it looked pretty bad. Yeah, I you know, like, there was a lot of pin there. So them two both came off, and some of them brought on um, Huggins, Jizaku, and Evans all came on. There and then Kachunga came off for Bolton, who definitely changed the game for them a little bit up front. He definitely gave them a bit more of a spark up front, which is what they were lacking, I think, for most of that game. And he, and he definitely did cause problems, especially against Niall Huggins, who, let's be honest, Huggins isn't against. Um, who was it again? I forgot the name Kachunga. Against Kachunga, Huggins really did have a chance because Kachunga's a massive fucking player. And there's Niall Huggins, who he, he, he looks like a bit of a twig, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, that was that. And then, you know. It's just basically, I mean, like Jackie had a couple of chances where he really should have scored. I mean, in in the, in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, we just, I think when we had the ball in Bolton's box, we, in like instead of shooting, we we're just trying to pass it in the goal. It felt like and it was really, really frustrating because 
we really should have put the get the bed towards that at that point, but we just kept messing around with the ball in the box, and, and we, we, we didn't shoot. And then once and the Daku did shoot, he absolutely piled over the crossbar. So that was that. So I was a bit frustrated, I suppose. But on, and and then but then you know all in all the game then fizzled out, and then Sunderland did get the one nil win. So that was that was that was pretty good. I mean. If I was going to give any player ratings, Hoffman, I'd probably give him a 6.5. Had a pretty solid game. Apart from like one save that he had to make, didn't really do uh, too much. Winchester, I'm going to give him an 8. He was excellent today at right back, you know, and I'll go on the winning goal score as well. Flanagan and Doyle, I'm going to give them both 7s as well because they had a really solid game. You know, it felt good to have a nice, solid partnership between Doyle and um, Doyle and Flanagan there. So again, I'm going to give him an 8 as well. You know, he didn't score, but he, that was definitely his, by far his best performance in the Sunday shirt for me. He did, he was absolutely tremendous there. Oh, nine, they're going to give him a 6.5, you know, did decent enough in the game. Neil, give him a, uh, maybe a 5.5 or a 6, didn't do too much, but definitely was a bit of a passenger today. Didn't get too much, too involved like he knew, usually did, and honestly, to end towards the end of the game, looked a bit tired, so I doubt we'll probably be seeing him play against Chatham on Tuesday. McGee didn't give him a 5.5, I mean, like, what, what's the point of McGee? Like, he's just... He's he says he's finished. He's absolutely finished. The the season, like the season has surely has to be his last. I mean, like, uh, what's the point in playing McGeady? He's just he doesn't offer anything to this game. And I know there's a stack one around. Apparently, he's, he's I think he's like top three, top five most creative passes. But that's like very rare that he does that. I and mean, it's just just every home game now. There's five home games now that I've played, and he just hasn't done anything for me. Really. Pritchard and give him a six, you know, wasn't terrible, but definitely could have done a lot better today. I think should have scored in the second half, like I mentioned, and also I think he was just a little bit too wasteful, just a little bit, just a little bit off the pace at times. Emberton give him a five point five, but didn't 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 have the, the best of game. But Emberton really didn't couldn't really get stuck in. And sure, I gave Stewart a six, you know, he he he, he, he did he did all right. He did, couldn't really get. I, I didn't really think he could get involved in today's game. Um. Oh, should, I, should, I, should I give Bolton player ratings? I mean, I, I think I will. Um, Dixon I'll probably give him a six point five. You know, had a solid deal in go today. Jones probably going to give him a six. Didn't he? Wasn't too bad. Santos probably give him a seven. He was definitely a huge rock in the Bolton defence today. Johnson gave him a six. Didn't do too much. Gordon I'd probably give him a five. He was pretty shocking for Bolton today. If I'm being completely honest. Um, McGeady and Jack, and then when when Jessica got past him so many times, way too easily. Williams and Sheen both gave them sixes. Didn't really, didn't really do t- too much wrong. Didn't do t- too much in general. To be honest, yeah. Is Gore probably gave him a five point five. Didn't get too involved in this game. Sarkis probably gave him a six, maybe a seven. That had a solid game ended up as the attack midfield did um, today. A floor, yeah, probably gave him a seven as well. He, he looked pretty solid on that left wing. And Doll up front, probably gave him a five. He didn't. He should have done so much better today. If I'm being completely honest. Um, many more comments I want to make. Um, it was a good, it was a good crowd today. Thirty-two thousand in nearly thirty-three thousand. It was a really good atmosphere today. You know, this, um, you know, I think, from, um, you know, some of the fans we were definitely one, one of our more louder games this season at home. And the Bolton fans, you know, um, to be fair, to, so far this season I haven't really seen too much action in the away end. You know, Wigan brought about maybe a thousand, a thousand and a half up. Didn't really make too much noise after the fifteenth minute. And then you had, you know, um, Wimbledon, Accra and Wickham, both, both, all those sides didn't really bring too many up and they're all pretty silent, to be fair. Apparently Accra made a bit annoyed, I mean, I don't, I don't really know, I don't really hear them. But Bolton today probably had about 2,000, 2,500 up today, definitely was the best way to support by far this season. And probably but I'm probably the best we will get until we do end up playing like of Sheffield Wednesday and Portsmouth and people like that. But you know, it, 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 I mean, I thought Bolton fans, I mean, like, to be fair, I, I mean, like, I, 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 this is me, but I thought they probably... Team to saying more about apparently how shit our support is compared to actually cheering on the team. Whereas I think like within like the first half they sang is there a file deal three times, even though two of those times it normal no one's even up, up and about. Apparently our, our home support is shit, which is fucking rich coming from them lot, by the way. Fucking hell. And then and then just see just just, just see, seeing how most digs at us, which is I thought was a bit weird because because we didn't really inflict any like, like the there's no beef between our fans. I don't know why they were so keen to throw digs at us. Well, yeah, no, this, is, this is football, and this was just banner, I suppose. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I suppose. Um, referee, I've, I've referee. I mean, like, I mean, what can you say? It's league. He's, he's, he's just a league one ref. I mean, if, if, if you're being honest, like, 
I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, I, th- I think they're free. If you look at them, he, he just, he, he just, he just look like a bit of a div, didn't he? Really, like his hairline is shit of stars, and his room is a bit retarded as well. If I'm going to be honest, there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to add. To be honest, I haven't got too much else to have to say. You know, it was a really stressful game today, but I think that the three points are definitely going to be a vital three points. You know, as Wigan and then Kid Don's um, on Plymouth all won today as well. So definitely, it was a big three points there. And that, that, that's probably going to be it for this match review. Now, I hope, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, then be sure to give it a like. And if you are new, then do feel free to subscribe because I will be making more match reviews, hopefully a bit more often than what I have been to, to, to last year. But, you know, I think for the away games, I just haven't really been watching them. You know, I'll, I'll definitely try and watch them, the, 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 the Portsmouth game next weekend if I can. And, you know, um, I will be at the Cheltenham on Tuesday night. So, so, may, so I might get a match review later on Tuesday night. I'll have, have to wait and see. And if you want to get notified the second I do upload the video, then do um, hit, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.